Hey guys, Patrick Riddle here with PrivateMoneyBlueprint.com and today I'm going to go over one of my favorite real estate investing strategies with you and it's a strategy that I use in my business day in day out to make big money and you can too and uh, go ahead and grab a pen and pad because you're going to want to take some notes here and I'm going to tell you the ins and outs of this strategy uh, a few different ways that you can utilize it I'm going to go over how I primarily use it in my business and I'm also going to share with you my secret $25,000 purchase price clause that I use in my business when implementing this strategy on the sell side of the business. This will all make sense here shortly so stay with me. Okay, with this real estate investing strategy here's a few things you can do with it and I've got some notes here so I, I wanted to make sure that I didn't uh, leave anything out. You can use this strategy on both the buy and the sell side of the business, and even in between. Uh, you can control real estate with none of your own resources. So you literally have zero risk using this strategy. You can control real estate without even owning it, ever, and make big money in the process. There's a lot of different profit centers that you can set up uh, to make money using this strategy. And you can also fill your properties with someone with an entirely different mindset than a tenant. So, uh, have you guessed what the real estate investing strategy is yet? <clears throat> if you said lease options, you're dead on. You're right. And um, real quick, what is a lease option? Well, very simply, it's a lease and gives the leasee the option to purchase the property under certain terms, price, time frame, etc. And the key here is that it's the option to purchase. So there's not an obligation on the leasee's part. There's simply an option to buy it, to close on it, if it makes sense. And there's a lot of different ways that lease options can be used in business. You can use them to buy property on lease option uh, without owning it. You can use the sandwich lease option technique, cooperative lease options. Uh, you can sell on lease option. And that's actually the primary way that I use lease options in my business. Is I, I use lease options as the primary exit strategy when I buy and hold a property. And let me give you a few reasons why. Um, one, when you're selling on lease option, when you're putting someone in your property that uh, has the option to buy it, you're putting someone in your property that has a home ownership mindset and not just the regular tenant rental mindset. And that's huge because people that you put into your properties in a lease option, they're going to take better care of your property. They're going to even improve your property. They might uh, put down tile uh, in the kitchen or baths or, or uh, repaint a bedroom or add on a porch, all kinds of things. And they're actually improving your property and they don't even own it yet. So that's huge. Uh, another reason uh, is because when you put someone in on lease option, you can get a down payment. And that down payment is non-refundable if they do not end up buying the property. And it's not uncommon to get 3% as a down payment on a lease option. So if you got a property worth $100,000, then you can many times get $3,000 uh, or even more down on the property. And that's non-refundable if they do not buy. So you're, you're hedging your risk there as well. Um, if the tenants stay in the property and do a little bit of damage, well, you've got the, the down payment that you can use to uh, fix the property back up and get it on the market if they don't end up buying. Um, another reason why I love lease options as a primary uh, selling strategy with properties is that many times you can all also charge a little bit higher rent because you're providing a service to these people because they maybe have money for a down payment, have a good income, but let's wait till this truck goes by. <laughs> But their credit sucks, and they cannot go the traditional route to owning a home. They need time. So the service that we're offering these people to be in a property that they can own um, comes at a cost. 
And so those are just a few of the reasons why I love lease options as a selling strategy on my business. Now, let me tell you a quick story. First property uh, that I ever uh, purchased, um, we put a tenant in there on a lease option. And the way that we wrote the agreement, we went ahead and determined uh, a specific purchase price for them, added in a little bit of, an, of appreciation and whatnot. And uh, about a year and a half goes by, um, and the tenant ends up getting qualified to buy from us. And the way that we wrote the agreement, we locked them in at a specific price, but uh, the market appreciated a good bit more. And what ended up happening is when they qualified to purchase the property from us, we left $25,000 on the table that could have been in our pocket, but wasn't because of the way that we worded the agreement. So here is the purchase price clause, my secret $25,000 purchase price clause that we now use in our lease option. So this does not happen. Uh, write this down. Um, and this is when you're selling on lease option if you own the property. Uh, this is how you would word it. Uh, in the purchase price section, you would say purchase price to be determined by appraisal ordered by seller, paid for by buyer, to be ordered uh, within 60 days of closing. Purchase price to be no less than X amount. So that's how you can actually, through lease options, sell your property at a future value. And of course, you would credit their down payment toward the purchase price, whatever that ends up being. If you decide to give any rent credits, you could do that as well. But that's how we hedge against that risk of locking someone in at a price and so that we never leave 25 grand on the table again. So there you go. That's my secret clause. Um, take it, use it when you're selling on lease option. And um, look, there's a lot of different ways to use lease options in your business. And there are strategies where if you're broke right now and don't have any of your own cash, if you have bad credit, you can use uh, some of the different lease option strategies, sandwich lease options, cooperative lease options, and even more. And we're actually going to have a training very soon, and we're going to go into all this in depth. So make sure that you keep an eye out from, for emails from us soon because you're not going to want to miss this training. So I look forward to seeing you there. Uh, this has been Patrick Riddle. Oh, also, if you're not already on our list, you may miss being notified of this training. So, if you're not already on our list, go to privatemoneyblueprint.com and sign on now. This training is coming up soon. You don't want to miss out. I look forward to seeing you there. It's been Patrick Riddle with Private Money Blueprint. See you next time.